What's good, y'all? This your girl, Sajay Craziness, coming to you, 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 and you with another Word on the Street segment. Yes, we are covering Real Housewives of Atlanta. Um, We can't get more this time, okay? And so, can't get more saying this new season that's going to be coming out for um, Real Housewives of Atlanta will be shaking up. It will be shake, 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 shake what your mama gave you. Shake what your mama gave you. Okay, but anyways, it's going to be shaking up. It's going to be shook us up. <laughs> okay, it's going to be doing a lot of different things, I guess. But what more can you do with Real Housewives of Atlanta? What? <laughs> Who could you possibly put on here to make this thing go back years to where it was popping? Okay, because, I mean, now it's just going down, 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 down. I'm going down. Cause you ain't around, baby. My whole world's. You know, like when you went cry, cry practice, and they like, down, baby. Okay, it's going downhill. All right, but if they got somebody to bring it back up, get a little more up tempo in it. We here for it, cause I really don't know who you can bring, what you can put on the table. I don't know, but let's see what Kenya got to say. <clears throat> Read. Kenya Moore dished on what fans can expect on the new season of Real Housewives of Atlanta. During a recent interview, Kenya Moore hinted at what's going down on season. Damn, they already at season 14. It's been that many seasons of Real Housewives of Atlanta. I mean, I've been covering it here and there for off. Off and on for two years, but damn, it's been 14. Si oh, wow. Wow. Okay. So, um, season 14 of Royal Housewives of Atlanta, she confirmed reports that there will be some changes in the changes to the cast. Okay, who we bringing on? Just put it like that. We could care less who gonna stay. Who you bringing on to bring them ratings up? Because I know they were dry last season. But anyway, she said there is definitely a cast shakeup, okay? But you secured your peach, I'm, I'm guessing. When the interviewer <laughs> inquired what the cast shakeup would consist of, Kenya Moore said fans can expect to see some new faces and some old faces not there. Okay, well, we don't want you to be, what is it, hiding behind words. Tell us what's tea. Who gonna be there? Who got counsel? What's good ya? Don't hide behind them unless, of course, she did sign a contract, so she can't say uh, too much of what's gonna supposed to go down, but whatever. Keep reading. Then, uh-uh. Elijah, you better stop that before I take you upstairs. <clears throat> then when asked whether she would be a part of the returning cast, Kenya responded by humorously saying, <laughs> we'll see. Be, be, is you going to be there or not? Let's stop with the shenanigans. Yes, I'm going to be there. Twirl going to be there. What's good? I mean, damn. They always got to do something. The reporter then inquired <laughs> who Kenya Moore would personally like to see back on the show. She replied, I love the oldies. But goodies, I love the OGs as they call them. Okay, triple OG, triple. Yes, we like the OGs, but sometimes you need some new new faces, new attitudes, new personalities on there. When it comes to Real Housewives of Atlanta, the season one OGs include Nene Leakes, Sheree Whitfield, Kim. We definitely don't want to see Kim back on the screen. Okay. And her and Sweetie. Is she is Sweetie still her assistant? By the way, anybody know? Let me know in the comment section below. Um, Lisa Wu and Deshaun Show. Okay. And if you don't remember, these are the lovely ladies who started out Real Housewives of Atlanta. Okay. But I doubt Lisa Wu will come back. Sheree, I think she's still trying to get on there because what's going on with her joggers? Anybody Has anybody seen Sheree joggers that was supposed to hit, what, two years ago? We need to see them, but, you know. 
Um, Kenya Moore then explicitly spoke on former castmate Far, I mean Farger, my bad, Phaedra Parks, okay, who famously left the series after season nine. And this is what King had to say, y'all, let's read. The fans love Phaedra, obviously. I don't think it would be a bad idea to have her back. I think it would be very interesting. Yeah, it would. <laughs> Please do. We've been hollering that for I don't know how long. Since she left, bring Fra for I want to call her Phaedra. Phaedra back. She looking like a new Phaedra, though. I don't know what type of surgery she got or whatever she doing, but she Phaedra, but she looking like a new kind, new improved, new, I got new stuff on me. Phaedra, okay? It ain't naturally. I'm just saying, but it is what it is. Moving on. Notably, Phaedra Parks has previously been rumored to make a reappearance on the series. But how would this go with Candy? Is Candy returning back to um Real Housewives of Atlanta? Probably so. You know, that's a big income with many other incomes she got coming in. But you know, that's like, what's that? That's the mega okay and the others just branch off of that all right that's the mega okay but um yeah i just want to know how would that go mm. real <laughs> regarding when production will begin for real housewives of atlanta upcoming season can you reveal they're looking at october but it's not finalized yet but i think october okay so they are looking to put on the cameras put on the hot ass lights Get y'all in the atmosphere so y'all can act on up, spread rumors, talk about each other, see what this person doing, see what this person ain't doing, relationships gone wrong, relationships made up. I mean, it is what it is. It's the same hurrah over each season. Just a new face or same faces, just they on the opposite side of where they was last season. It's just too much. The interview <laughs> wrapped up with Kenya being asked, who she would not like to see back on the series. In response, Kenya Moore answered, you never want to be in a situation where you're fighting with someone all the time or who is your enemy. So if an enemy is not there, the problem that, hold on, this will probably, uh, what? So if an enemy is not there, the probably I would be happy for that. What? That don't even make sense. And I want y'all to see this. Make sure I ain't, you know, misspelling some words in my head or whatever. Don't that say probably? I don't know if y'all can really see. But it says, so if an enemy is not there, the probably I would be happy for that. I think that was a typo, y'all. I think that was a typo. Or she, I got to see which, how she said that because I think that was a typo. But can you more in recent comments about that cash shakeup confirm our prior exclusive report on the matter? Back in May, Jasmine Brand broke the story that Real Housewives of Atlanta was getting a new cast lineup for season 14. Their sources revealed the decision came as a result. What I said? Didn't I tell y'all? I told you low ratings. <laughs> We tired of seeing the same old, same old, different season type of bull, okay? We need something different. And the results will stand if not, okay? So the ratings weren't the best this past season, so they need to do something to help get more views. Hey, I don't know what you need to do because I think I want to say in hearts of hearts that Real Housewives of Real Housewives of Atlanta has ran their course. I don't know what else you could do. I don't know what else you could do. I, I, I really don't. And it says, this past season of Real Housewives of Atlanta season 13 consists of Kenya, Cynthia, Candy, Portia, Drew Sidora, Latoya, Ali, Fat, was it Fallon, Fallon, and another Fallon. Okay, but either way it go, I didn't watch last season simply because I just been out of love or like, I should say, once say love, of enjoying the show since, hell, I don't even know. I want to say since Phaedra left. I really do. Since it was no more freaking frat, I left. Phaedra left, I left too.
<laughs> I left home with her. Not saying what had occurred, you know, was right, for, you know, with the candy situation, but that was it. Like, I don't know what else. And then with the new people they had on there this uh, past season. I'm... Yeah, that's how. I... All right. Even though Latoya Ali, I liked her as a YouTuber. But, hey, when you come to that plateau where you think you the sh you nobody, mm-hmm, then bring you on down. Humble your ass. Just hump. Hump. Okay? Everybody ain't made for Hollywood, honey. But anyways, let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section below. Tell me who you want to see back on Real House of Atlanta. Tell me if you really give a damn. <laughs> Tell me if you really give a damn at this point. It could be Barney up there for all I care. But love y'all. Peace.